Let's balance the equation for H2SO4 plus MgNO3 too. This is sulfuric acid, strong acid, and then we have magnesium nitrate. Before we even balance this reaction, I do want to point out that the states, if we wrote the states for each substance, they'd look like this. And you'll notice that they're all aqueous. And since they're all aqueous, these are all dissolved into ions, and these are all dissolved into ions, and they're the same ions, so there's no reaction taking place. But if you did need to balance this reaction, here's how you do it. We have two hydrogens. I'm using a bit of a trick here. This sulfate here is a polyatomic ion. We have it right here as well. We're going to count it as one thing, one sulfate ion. We have one magnesium and the nitrate, another polyatomic ion that appears on both sides. Let's just count it as one thing. So we have one times two. We have two nitrates. Product side, we have one hydrogen, one sulfate one magnesium, and then one nitrate. And you can see this is a lot easier to see what we need to do to balance the equation. We can just put a two right here in front of the HNO3. One times two balances the hydrogens. The two goes to everything. So we have two times the one nitrate gives us two. We're done. This equation is balanced. You'd get the same answer if you broke these up into individual elements. This is just a lot quicker in time. It matters on exams. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for H2SO4 plus MgNO3 2. Do note though, there's no reaction taking place here. Thanks for watching.